Signals. Signals are fantastic. It allows you to go one way. And the other way. Signals is what allows you to play Sweet Transit in the first place. Signal is a core part of the game, so it's really important that we understand that. And my idea of today is to explain it for you in as simple as possible terms and hopefully within a reasonable time frame. It's really easy to drag out on a video about signals because it's super complex if you really start digging into it, but we're gonna make it simple today. First off, signals is a way for you to split up a track. So you can see right here, we don't have any signal and the track itself is considered as one block. You can see that by the fact that when I'm highlighting it, it highlights the whole track. If we instead go over here in Sweet Transit, we need to make sure that we are utilizing the signals where we are able to as well. This allows us to make sure that we can have more than one train running on the same track. And signals are actually really easy. It's Probably one of the harder parts to grasp is when you just pick up the game, but once you realize how it works, it is super simple. There's one rule to uh, signals in general in Sweet Transit, and that is that there will always be one train and one train only that can occupy a block in the game. So, if we look at this guy, we can see that there is two blocks here and we have one block on each end as well. That means that our two trains are able to pass each other without any issue. And technically we could actually even put the third train on here. You need to always have one more block in your train network than you have actual trains in the system. If you don't have that, you will find yourself with a situation where your trains will not be able to move anymore. So right now we're having Two blocks and two blocks alone and that is not enough for these guys to go because they always need a free block in front of them before they are able to move so if we add another block here you'll see that they will actually be able to move and if we want to add more trains to this we would have to create even more blocks so what can we do with with signals well we can make something like this this is an intersection that allows trains to kind of go as they want. So if you're looking at this guy, you'll see that when this guy leaves, this guy can also pass. Which is really handy. Because that means that you can go at the same time as this guy. So if we do it right here, you'll see that these two will be able to pass at the same time in the intersection without any issue. And that is being done with chain signals. So uh, chain signals allow you to, just like normal standard signals, they allow you to split up the track in different blocks, just like the other signals. The only difference to these is that they are able to look forward. So the chain signal will not only look at the block that's in front of it, it will also look at the signal that's in front of it and it will copy the value of either one of those. So either its own block or the one in front of it can be occupied for the chain signal to show it as occupied. So what can you do with chain signals then to actually have a positive impact on your rail networks? Well, this kind of situation you can avoid. So right now we have a train over here that is being held up by the station could be anything that it's doing of course and then we have a train right behind it and then we have this guy who want to continue forward but he can't because this guy is waiting to get into the station as well of course part of this is that we could just send this guy away once he's done then everything will be fine this guy will be able to continue forward and this guy will be able to also continue on his way but of course that's not really the most efficient way of doing it so what we might want to do is to make sure that this intersection is left clear all the time so we don't have any trains actually standing still there and if we take one of these chain signals and we put down one at the entrance of any any intersection like this 
you will notice that this guy, instead of going through the intersection, he will stop right there. And what that means is that when this guy comes along here, he will be able to just pass straight through there. Being very handy. And once this guy is actually leaving, and this track right here is available, it means that this guy will be able to also continue forward. So chain signals are really handy when it comes to any sort of intersections. And I figured I could give you a little bit of a bonus as well. So if we take a look at this guy, I just mentioned that signals is what uh, splits up all of our blocks into separate blocks when we're playing three times it. There's one exception to that. Like the exception is this situation. So if we look at this intersection, we can actually see that it has split this section out from the main route that we have. Despite the fact we haven't actually split it here with a signal. So how that works is that the game understands that this little intersection that we have right here, it is too small for us to place a signal right here. So the game automatically splits that for us. Really, really handy. And sometimes this might actually be more efficient than doing something more similar to this, where you are using signals in each direction. So that's something to keep in mind for sure. Same thing applies here. When we let these guys go, they will be able to actually pass through each of them at the same time as well. So if we let these guys go, you'll see that both of these can be on their track at the same time. Just like if we were using our own signals. And that was that for this little short introduction and explanation for how the system works with trains and signals in switch transit i hope you enjoyed if you learned something then click that like button if you want to see more content in regards to switch transit and others management simulator games and probably a, a bunch of other stuff on the channel as well then uh, hit that subscribe button and i want to say thank you so very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye everyone